Hi, I'm Mitch Edwards and I'm from Porkstar. I'm here today to talk to you about what I consider to be one of the most beautiful, delicate pieces of meat. This is the Australian pork fillet. Now with a pork fillet, it doesn't need a lot of cooking, it doesn't need a lot of work. The juicy, tender meat speaks for itself. It can be served with beautiful hints of pink for joy of diners. But rather than just talk about it, let's take it along to one of our famous pork stars and see how they're gonna prepare it for us. Pork star chef Nino Zaccali, thank you for having us here at your exquisite fine dining Italian restaurant, Pendolino at the Strand Arcade, Sydney. Nino, tell us about Pendolino and the inspiration and how we come to be here. Well, firstly, it's a great pleasure to have you here, Mitch, as always. Um, look, Pendolino, as you know, you know, a lot of people thought I was mad, uh, really, from the outset with the, putting the restaurant on level two of the Strand Arcade in, 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 in an Australian city. I was one of them, wasn't I? Yeah, I, I, look, I think, um, you know, we, we really, we're here because, you know, we wanted to do just the best possible uh, Italian restaurant we could in Australia. And, you know, we just felt that what we really wanted to do was gonna fit perfectly in this building. And, and we think that it, that it really, uh, there is a, a nice fit with, with the building. You know, it's an exquisite restaurant, and I think uh, anyone I ever mentioned Pendolino to, they have the same feeling that I do. It's about beautiful dining experience, beautiful space, and, and beautiful, refined Italian food. And that's why I want to talk to you today about the pork fillet. I suggested to you the pork fillet because I had that beautiful pork fillet dish here, and to me that had been treated with the, the tenderness, uh, delicacy, to, to deliver what a pork fillet can deliver. So what I'd like to hear from you is about your the, the pork fillet dish you've done for us today. Yeah, I mean, I think it's really interesting because it's kind of fallen a little bit out of fashion, uh, pork fillet, everyone's really, you know, and th th this is a great thing as well that everyone's really gotten excited in the restaurant world anyway about pork belly and secondary cuts and shoulder and and, all, and stuff that used to be not that popular. Where and the finer cuts have been a little bit forgotten. Yeah, they're kind of like being relegated. So we we like to be a little bit counter cyclical. So uh, we always get interested in things that uh, appear to be becoming boring because there's usually some merit in them. The, the fillet's really interesting because it's. I guess it's for me. It's it, what typifies it is the lack of fat, but the texture is really different as well. So Gentleman. it's this much softer, you know. And I guess the important thing for us is to not overcook it, um, and that's that's still a you know that's this is a sort of message that we're constantly you know it's, it's come a long way in the last ten years. People understand that you can eat uh, a medium or you know a piece of pork that's got a little beautiful blush, blush, beautiful of, pink. blush of pink through it. Um, not overcooked, that means the moisture content's at its peak inside of the meat and it's really, really beautiful. So we, we like it uh, for that reason. And what have you done with your pork fillet dish, Nina? So this pork fillet dish, we also serve with a little bit of uh, slow cooked uh, pork cheek as well. And we make a little sausage, um, very, very Italian ways of cooking this dish. And we roast this pork fillet. We wrap it in Renaissance pancetta, which is yes. a pancetta that's made just for our restaurants. And it uses a spice mix that was prevalent during the Renaissance period in Italy. Stuff that you don't really get much of in Italy. There's a distinct of. flavor in that pancetta. I can't quite pick yeah, it. Yeah, well, we use, the, I guess the thing that's really different is you get almost like a slight limey kind of flavor yeah. that comes through, which is coriander seed. Right. Which you don't really get in modern day Italian cooking. So I'm getting more than I bargained for, not just a pork, a pork fillet dish. I'm getting the pork fillet, the pork cheek, and the uh, authentic house-made pork sausage. We think that together you get really, you know, all different textures of, of, you know, of what you can eat from the, you know, from pork. And we love combining them all together on a plate. The fillet's really, really, we think the fillet's really stunning this way. And even, even though it may have fallen out of fashion, I think most people that eat it when it's really cooked really, really beautifully um, will go fantastic, you know. And we get a little bit of crispy fat kind of thing going on with the pancetta around the outside, sure? which is really, really beautiful. So what are you calling this dish? So this, so roasted pork fillet is, you know, la rosto di, di, di filetto di maiale, so it's roasted pork fillet. Um, we do change the name of the dish depending on which elements we combine it, and we, and, and we do change it from time to time, but we love the fillet. Nina, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a bit excited about it now. Can we please stop the talk? It's let's, time to try the, let's try time it. to try the dish. Wow. That looks sensational. Salute. Salute.